Welcome to the Adrian Duckworth Museum, right here in beautiful Meriden. I'm joined by the director and one of the trustees here, Grace Hardy, and she's gonna give us the background on the man and the mission of this beautiful place. Thank you so much for joining us. What a pleasure to have you here. Adrian would be thrilled. When he died, he left 1,300 works and the building as a public trust to encourage creative, creative arts and appreciation for the arts in this area. He'd been a teacher here for adults for mm -hmm. 25 years. He'd done his own work, which is a modernist approach to figure and he loved color and he did unusual work for his time. He was here from 1976 to 2001 and when he died we organized his work and created the museum. Um, had lovely help from friends and uh, people who became advisors and trustees and the man who's out working now on the front of the building built the galleries from the old school rooms Another person from the hood came on Saturdays for years and worked establishing the collection, museum systems. So we're, we're an, an unusual small museum. We're not a gallery as such. The mm -hmm. artists that we invite to show their work sell their work directly. We don't. Mm -hmm. and Adrian's work belongs to everybody. So we take care of it. We show it in segments. This room we keep as he lived in it somewhat, it was his studio and one room life. Mm -hmm. But he was all over the Upper Valley and teaching and, and had a long and interesting life. He died when he was 81. One of the things that I'm looking at at his pieces and just seeing what's come out of the trust from what you're telling me is this great love of what he gave and that's really what spurred people on to help make this possible and to keep it going. He must have inspired many people. I think he, well, he was, he was rigorous in his demands for his students. He didn't teach them to do what he did. He helped them do what they wanted to do. And he was, a, he was a powerful man. You didn't forget Adrian Duckworth, and yet he didn't compromise and try to sell his work to meet other people's expectations. He would create these series one after another. There are about 25 major series, mm -hmm. and each different and explorative. Well, the problems of paint, the problems of color, the problems of the figure of looking, as you know. And uh, it's exciting to be able to preserve it, present it, and engage with other artists as they come here. It's a thrilling, um, it's a thrilling process. It's a worthwhile endeavor. It, it is really indeed is. because art is a lived conversation. It's being yeah. able to communicate not just with words but without words on a level that goes beyond speech. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's one thing I was, I was looking at some of his pieces um, before I came here and I, I found myself connecting and thinking about things that maybe I had forgotten or had put in the back of my mind and I just I really think that maybe that was his gift. How wonderful to hear you say that. That's, he'd be thrilled. <laughs> we feel him here so much. So. Now, the museum offers these helps to um, new artists, like you mentioned, new people in the community who are trying to uh, get established. And it's not like a gallery. You said you're allowed the artists to display their work. They're invited. They're, they're invited several years ahead so they can plan to fill a space with something creative. Mm -hmm. Rachel's work, for instance, she created for that space in part. Usually an artist will when they have at that time try something different for themselves. Sounds good. And now, it is good. how can we support the museum so it can continue to do this amazing work? Well, we're grateful for donations because that's how we survive. And you will have the pleasure of meeting one of our major donors who's here. And then we welcome people to come spread the word about what's here. It's, as you know, a little hidden treasure. It is. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, Grace. Thank you. And Elizabeth. I encourage you to come out and see this hidden treasure and appreciate the man and the works of Adrian Duckworth. And if you could find in your heart to help the arts keep going and keep his vision alive, consider being a donor.